Welcome to The Girls. We're celebrating a brand new season of The Girls and we're in a brand new place, right? Jenny? Yes, we're at the Resident Inn by Marriott in the Humboldt Station in the greater Hazleton area. And I did spend some time on my outfit. You can't tell, looks like I have a black t-shirt on. I, I, I love the table, the high table, because we're just getting over the summer and most people are like their thinnest in the summer, but not me. I'm like my fattest in the summer. Well, you're and on vacation. And I trim down because you have to wear something that buttons. So I will stand up and show you my pretty outfit because I had these cute oh, pants that I bought for it's the It's like show. Caesars. You can't see them. So And this cute ruffly shirt, but we have this table so you can't see my outfit. Well, I didn't know if I was hot okay. or cold today, so I have the split sleeve. <laughs> When you hot, cold, decide. hot, cold. You don't know what you are after 40, I guess, right? Exactly. Well, tell me how it is after 40. Well, I don't know. know. I'm only 35. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what? Talking of ages, our kids, all grandchildren, all had birthdays. Oh, my gosh. Recently. So now we have three teenagers. Yes. Two of them are in high school. You don't know which way you're going for moms and dads out there or uh, grandparents who take care of their grandkids. When you have kids in different schools, Who's on first, what's on second, you don't know. So when you call and you say what's up for the day, my head spins because you don't know until they tell you what's going on Yeah, and, and change their mind. And so. then uh, everything bugs you like what happened to you oh. with the bug bites. So if you follow us on Facebook, the girls SSP TV, you know we do some funny posts and then some reality of what happens in our life. I don't know, I always talk about bug bites because I always get bug bites and I don't know how to not get a bug bite. And when yes. I get bug bites, I get very swollen and we'll show you some pictures that I posted recently. I was at a friend's party and we were sitting outside by the campfire. I was literally smothered in bug spray, smothered, head to toe smothered in bug spray, but I was bit from head to toe. And uh, I asked people, because I, I, they were swollen, uh, what I should do about these bug bites. Yeah, you took some very uh, graphic pictures. Well, you know, too. my hand was swollen like a balloon and I ended up, well, I'll tell you what I what happened, but you know, we had some remedies here. What did you say that they might not be? I told you to call mosquitoes. the dermatologist because yeah. they might not be mosquito bites or they may be infected because you were scratching the heck out of them and then you get them infected. So bad. And so then you might need a shot of Benadryl and an antibiotic and a steroid. Yeah. Because well, that's what happened to me. Wait, gets better. So someone said rub Vicks on ankles and other parts before going outside. Someone said, uh, that was you called the dermatologist, uh, used the calamine lotion. You, I mean, I literally dumped a bottle of alcohol. I, I literally scratched them open and then I dumped alcohol on them. Did you dump the alcohol in here? Yeah, well, the different alcohol was in here then the other alcohol was all over my body. I took a shower in alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Uh, someone said to use, it was like a silly one. Some, something a tea to, tree oil? Yeah, and... tea tree oil. And, uh, well, they're all on our Facebook, but there were some good remedies here. I just don't listen. Well, what worked? Well, I had to go Tell to the dermatologist the see? to see if they were infected. Mama was and right. And then uh, I, my hand is still not normal. It's still swollen. And I just started, I needed to go on, pr is it prednisone? Prednisone. Is that a steroid? Steroid. So now I'm on a steroid for these stupid bug bites. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so I was right. That's the moral yeah. of the story. Call mama. Yeah. Let's talk about Halloween at least, or fall. Did you decorate yet? I didn't decorate yet. I don't like to rush out of summer. I love summer. And yeah. I mean, I like the seasons, but I don't want to bring fall in until it's actually fall. That doesn't start until the end of September. And then when the leaves start falling, then I might get into it. But I like to enjoy my summer. Flowers are still beautiful. I mean, and your house is all decorated. Oh, I'm, I, you know, September 1st, legit pumpkin spice galore. Oh. I took down, I ripped out all of my summer flowers and I planted actually this year artificial flowers. You didn't plant Don't they look cute? They look cute. <laughs> they look cute. Anyway, easy crafts. We posted some on our Facebook page because, you know, I'm about doing stuff that's very easy because that's, you know, how much my attention span is, like two seconds. Everyone has toilet paper at home, right? Well, you should have. Well, you should. Okay. So you take the toilet paper. Yeah, well, it's, this is courtesy. Of it's the, so adorable. I'm it stealing did. this, by the way. <laughs> and uh, you get material, so you get maybe um, an orange napkin, okay? Mm -hmm. And you take the napkin and you Hold wrap it, it around, wrap it around. And stuff it in the hole. And then you get two cinnamon sticks and you put them in there and two leaves 
And it makes a little pumpkin yeah. decoration for your bathroom. You can use crepe paper, anything orange. How if you cute make is your that? pumpkin a different color, you can make it a different color, but then you put it in your bathroom, and if you need an extra roll of toilet paper, there it is, but it's a decoration instead of an unsightly roll of toilet paper, huh? If you have a cute craft that's easy, let me know. Don't send me the ones that she sends me that take 16 hours How to do. How about the crayon cake? He gets oh, on making that crazy. My God, cake. the girl's rolling things and cutting off. things and scraping things. And I would, what did I tell you? I'll rather eat the box of crayons and make this cake with you. Yeah, I think we do a, a week to 10 days. Thing. Not, well, anyhow. Well, when we need cakes done, we always call someone for cakes, but we don't need cake. No. Yeah. You know. Uh, well, well, we have a special guest, our very first guest is Carla Thaller. She's from the Greater Hazleton area and she is the Regional Director of Operations for Hamster Group, which they oversee the Marriott's in this location. Uh, there are three hotels that we're gonna talk about, but we're gonna save you money if you like to travel like I do, right? Yes, she's always and traveling. Save I get money. To stay home. Uh, Carla's gonna talk about ways you can save money um, and some tips on getting some maybe upgrades that sounds good. I always like upgrades, especially with your credit card. Yeah. Whichever credit card you use and some great little tips. It depends on where you work and some of the other things too. But Carla's going to give us all the secrets. So call your friends and tell them they don't want to miss this show. They're going to learn how they could travel for a, uh, less expensive, how to get upgrades, how to be treated like a queen at all of the, uh, all the hotels. Be right back. How many of you like to save money? Hey oh. I do. I like I to do. save money. Well, we're here at the Residence Inn by Marriott. It's in the Humboldt Station, and we're with Carla Thaller. She's a regional director of operations for Hamster Group. And Carla, thanks for hosting the girls this season when we're on uh, a location. We'll be here taping for our sit-down interview. So thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. So today we're at our residence in um, by Marriott in Humboldt. We also have two other properties locally. We have our Hampton Inn by Hilton, which is at the entrance to the Country Club, right by top of the 80s. And then also our Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott, which is right behind uh, Damon's across from Penn State. All three of our properties just went through um, extensive renovations. So we're so happy that you guys came out to see them and talk about them. Well, I was marveling at how beautiful everything is when I came in. I haven't been here in a while, and I just love, love, love the lobby. So I could just imagine how everything else looks. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the construction, like I guess with any project, took a little bit longer than what we thought. But the end um, result is pretty pretty fantastic, we think. This is one of my favorite pieces as well. We're it's taking this. <laughs> this is coming. This is coming home with us to our studio. We forgot to tell you that part. But if you're <laughs> staying so here, this is part of the area where you have your breakfast. It is, and these seats actually usually go first. So yeah. if you come down for breakfast, you might not get a spot here, but if you're early, you might. <laughs> yeah. Nice family table. How it much is. fun was it for you to be able to spend someone else's money to renovate? Oh, I'm I mean, very like good at dream. it. <laughs> that's <laughs> a dream come true. It was about $10 million between the three buildings, so it's Probably a bigger budget than I would ever have personally. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? I will say we did a couple segments here with you prior to the renovation, and Hamster does a really good job with it. Didn't even need to be renovated. It wasn't one of those hotels that you walked in and went, "Oh my God!" Yeah, it wasn't I'm stuck dated in the '70s. It wasn't <laughs> dated at all. So they they really do upgrade even yeah. when they really don't really have to. No. Well, the company's slogan is caring is our privilege. So we want every guest experience to be the best possible. So we know that uh, we try to lead the market in every way that we can, but the way that you stay in that position is to continue to invest back in your business. Right. Um, and to your point, yes, I feel the Hamster Group does do a fantastic job. We're opening properties in two different states right now. So it's a very exciting time for us and glad to share it with you guys. Yeah, well, you're only 16 years old and you've been here forever and yeah, you've been, been with this with company for, for many years, right? <laughs> so you must believe in, in the mission of what they want to accomplish here. I do. Yeah, I actually started here when I was a freshman in college and it's kind of like Hotel California. I never checked out. So in December, I'll be celebrating 17 years. 
So it's exciting to open properties and now see them get renovated. To your point, I didn't think it was time either, but it, it was. And now we're so excited to have the finished product and our guests love it. If you go onto our TripAdvisor sites, you can read all about what the, the public's saying. So they seem very happy. <laughs> well, if you look familiar to the public, we had you on another girls show that we featured. We were, um, featured you for the Athena Award, I believe, that you received, so you're award-winning for your business techniques, and also the Pearl Award. You've received several recognitions from the community, so congratulations again to you, Thank and you. I, you could see your work. I mean, really, a lot of times you don't know the work that people do, but we're really able to come and see everything that you've done, and really sharing your excitement. You still have so much enthusiasm, 17 years, and she's still <laughs> bubbling over with this. Kid keeps her young, right? Yeah. You have a daughter. I do, so I'm pretty much following in your footsteps, right? We both went to King's, yes. we both got the Athena Award, we both got the Pearl Award, yes. but you have a daughter and a son. Yes, so, so you better get kicking. Uh -oh. I gotta start working on that boy, <laughs> on I guess. That boy. <laughs> we just mentioned working King's. King's was just mentioned to the list, or I saw where it was added to the list, it's been on the list, of the best colleges in the United States. Well, duh. Duh, of course yeah, it was. there it was. Of course and, we would, uh, so of course we would be on that list. True. Exactly. <laughs> So Carla, today we want to inform people about uh, travel, how they can make it affordable, how they can actually upgrade later in the show. We'll talk about how you can actually have tips on uh, getting upgrades when you go to a hotel or an overnight stay. And maybe start by telling us the difference between you know, a hotel, a motel, uh, an extended mm -hmm. stay, what, what should people look for? Sure, so locally we have the three properties, like I said. So the Hampton and the Fairfield, they're considered what's um, select service. Mm -hmm. So what that means is unlike a full service property, which may have a bar inside it and ballroom space, we don't have those facilities. But at our select service properties, they both have restaurants on site. Mm -hmm. um, and this property, the residence in, is what's considered an upscale extended stay property, meaning it was designed for a five or more night stay but we obviously still accept the one or two night stay but we have a full kitchen fully stocked um, we also offer personalized grocery shopping so sometimes people will say well why would you need three hotels in one market especially a small city like Hazleton it's because essentially it's three different offerings although both Fairfield and Hampton are select service one is Marriott and one is Hilton so they do appeal to different people so by having all three we feel like we have a nice monopoly on the market and we have a lot of people that come and visit this area especially in the summer and more popular in the fall time to right. see you know you're centrally located where we're right on 80 and 81 so if you're going to Jim Thorpe or you're going to Scranton Wilkesbury or even Harrisburg Philly Allentown let's go to New York City right. you're in that area where you could come here and really enjoy northeastern Pennsylvania and stay here for three or four days and do that traveling that you want Absolutely. to do. And our Hampton, for example, they have beautiful views overlooking the Cunningham Valley. Mm -hmm. So to your point, when the fall um, change is occurring and you have all the beautiful colors and the leaves, you could get a room and essentially sit there and watch the whole change happen, which is pretty awesome. And all three of our properties are right off the interstate, which helps so that you can actually see the property before you drive up to it. You know, you left out winter, Geneva. We're right in the Poconos, and I'm sure we got a lot of skiers. <laughs> we do. I mean, skiers we do. and all of that. So I know you hate winter, but I'm sure that you have the winter We do, travels. and actually at this property we offer um, one bedroom fireplace suites, mm, which yeah. is nice, especially if you don't have a fireplace at home. You get that little extra perk that you may have otherwise not got to enjoy. Well, so. do you have like any merits anywhere else, like Florida or you know, <laughs> somewhere warm? We are looking at some properties Hello. in Florida. Marketing I'm girl right here. I'm trying to stay at the top of that list in terms of help. Right, yeah. and I'm sure yeah. the girl would have to go there and do that kickoff oh, exactly. show for the to do the ribbon cutting. <laughs> we just opened a hotel at Niagara Falls nice. on the American oh, side, oh, so nice. that could be a show That's in the beautiful. future. Yes, that is. Very Mark exciting. it down, yeah. Niagara Falls. Here I come. It's the first non-casino um, development in 40 years. Oh wow! So we're very excited. That's just great. like I try to be involved in the Hazleton area community. Our that's where I get it from. Our company is very involved. We're, um, we're located in Buffalo, New York, so we try to do the same thing in all the markets where our properties are because we feel it's a very important part for the hotel team as well as the community to have you know, intermingling and the networking opportunities.
So give us some tips. Let's okay. Hear. So get ready. Write these down. Some of the more obvious ones, but sometimes people still forget, is a AAA discount. So when you're checking in, you can get anywhere from five to ten percent off, depending on the hotel you're staying at. And also, what it does is a AAA rate will allow you to be able to cancel the reservation. Oh, so most hotels so it's like a today, guarantee. right? You have like a 48-hour cancellation normally, but with a AAA. Um, discount booked, you would have a little bit more flexibility th than you otherwise maybe would have. So okay. I always ask, do you have AAA? Do you have AARP? Most people usually have one of the two. Oh. Um, another great idea is if you're checking in and you see um, a credit card offer, go ahead and open it up and read because a lot of times when you're signing up, you get 50,000 points, you get a free upgrade, you get something free from their market or their sweet shop. Oh. So those are some things that sometimes people don't really realize that you can take advantage of and actually have an opportunity at the hotel for that stay. So that would be the hotel itself has their own credit card? The brand. So the brand. it may okay. be a Hilton or a Marriott okay. or a Hyatt, but yeah. So that's what, that's another opportunity. And also when you book direct with a property, you'll be able to have the best price locked in as well as get loyalty points for that property. So if you book through a third party channel, you may pay a booking fee as well as not get the reward points. So we always tell people book direct. Okay, so they just have to Google the area, the hotel, whatever, right. and just, just call your desk and book mm -hmm. it themselves. So if you went to Google and then search Hilton or Marriott and then just whatever location you would be traveling to visit. Okay, so Carla, if we uh, go to your website, which you have, could yes. we see all the locations and be able to book from there? Which you can. So for example, if you went on to www.marriott.com and searched Hazleton, you would see both of our two locations come up in your search. Okay, and that'll help us with which location would be best for us, being that they have different options. Right, so okay. let's say you're coming into um, the area for work for two weeks. So a two week stay in my recommendation would be best fit in our residence just because it would offer the full kitchen and be able to come home and have a normal meal like you would at home. Um, but if like let's say you're coming in for one or two nights, I would say our Fairfield or our Hampton would be better. All right, well these tips are all great. So stay with us because when we come back, we have more great information for you. You're watching the girls. Hey there, we're back. You're watching the girls on SSP TV and we're talking about saving you money and offering up some tips when you travel and stay at hotels. We are taping here and being sponsored by the Residence Inn by Marriott in Humboldt Station. And our first guest on the girls is Carla Thaller. She's in charge of all these facilities. So how many how many people do you have that you are under that are under you? I should say. So I oversee Pennsylvania, but here in Hazleton we have um, three locations. So depending on peak or slow season, it's anywhere between 75 to 125 people, um, all locally working with us. So huh. quite a few. <laughs> and how often do you oversee all of the Marriotts in Pennsylvania? The ones that we own, yes. Okay. So and how many are there? So we have the three here, and then another location out in Pittsburgh. Oh, so okay. I travel both ends of the state on a pretty nice. regular basis. Well, do you have Try. more tips for us? We do. About staying at So your one of the other maybe obvious things, maybe you guys have tried this before, but if you're going to stay at a property or hotel um, for a special occasion, so let's say it's your birthday or your anniversary or your honeymoon, make mention to it when mm. you're booking the reservation because the hotel will put a note on the reservation so that when you're checking in, more than likely, you're going to get some sort of an upgrade, oh, whether nice. that's maybe a larger room or in a corner spot, maybe a bottle of champagne, nice. maybe a gift card to um, a restaurant locally, but definitely let them know what the reason for your trip is. Um, another one, again, some of you may know, maybe some not, you can actually use your do not disturb sign as another form of security. So for example, some guests don't want their um, belongings to be touched when they're out for the day. So you go ahead and put your do not disturb sign on, and then this way you know nobody will be in your room while you're out for the day. All right, so what um, do you have now for kids? So, well, at our properties here in Hazleton, we offer outdoor or indoor pools and we share our amenities. So if you're staying at one of our properties, you're welcome to use the amenities of one of our other properties. Um, and what's nice is we have, for example, an outdoor pool at our Hampton that our Fairfield has an indoor pool. So let's say one day you wanted to use outdoor, one day indoor, you have that flexibility because we operate all three of them. So what are some tips that people should look for or know 
about the hotel before they That's book there? That's a great there? question. So I always say before you arrive, your virtual reputation is almost as good as your physical plant. <laughs> um, but what I would recommend is go on to TripAdvisor and read five to ten reviews. This way you get a well-rounded perspective. And also when you go on to the brand site, so Marriott.com, they also list their member reviews. Okay. So you can read for yourself what other people are writing. And for me, I find that to be very important because they've just stayed there. They've given their opinion. They've spent their money. So before I do that, I want to read what the feedback is. And of course, you know, I have to brag, but our three properties are ranked number one, two, and three in Hazleton. Nice. So they're very competitive. Right now, the residence is number one. And who does that ranking? Is that by TripAdvisor? Yes. And then so they have a very calcul um, complicated algorithm, hmm. and it takes into account number of reviews and length of reviews and okay. all that fancy stuff. So these reviews are done by people who stayed here. How about your actual inspection? You have to have inspections we as do. well. We do. So Marriott and Hilton have third-party inspectors that come in unannounced. They basically do 60% of their inspection before they even tell you they're there. <laughs> so there's no prep work. You're either ready or you're not. And our properties have scored very high for a long time. So we right. take a lot of pride in that because our real inspectors are the guests that stay with us sure. every day. So it gives us feedback pretty continually, but of course the brand wants a formal yeah. <laughs> update as well. So I would recommend when you're checking in, if you've never stayed at that property before, go ahead and ask them if you can see the room first. I've never seen a hotel say no, and this way you can actually see for yourself before you commit and check in formally. How nice. about non-smoking? You know, a lot of people are like, I don't want a, non a smoking room. Do you have smoking, non-smoking, or is everything non-smoking? We're all smoke-free. Every Marriott location went smoke-free in 2004, and our Hampton did just a couple years ago. They have a little bit more flexibility in the Hilton family, but as a company, we decided it would be best to keep all three smoke-free. We do have facilities around the property that if you are a mm -hmm. smoker, we try to make that as right. welcoming as possible, but they are 25 feet away from the entrances. Um, and what about pets? This property of our three is pet friendly, so the residence in is actually known to be pet friendly. And actually I saw a family check out the other day and they had um, two giant dogs that they say they never travel anywhere without them. So we are very pet friendly. There is a one-time non-refundable fee of $40, but it's very economical compared to other hotels that I've heard charge as much as 150 So yeah, but if you have a service animal, they are welcome at all three properties. Very nice. Uh, as I said, we have interviews coming in. This will be our set for this season. So Carla, thank you for yeah. You and your and I look forward to going employees. to Florida. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Inviting ourselves. Florida, Canada. Well, we're sending you to Canada because no, you we want to go to Niagara Falls. Falls. Niagara Falls. We're going to Niagara Falls. There you go. We'd love All to right. have you. Thanks, well, Carla. thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the Girls.